Hello, hello friends. This is Becky with Becky Budgets. I just wanted to go ahead and come on here to do our third week of January budget. Today is the last day before I start my new job. So I just want to get everything in order. Today I'm going to go ahead and budget my husband's paycheck for January 11th. Let's write that in. And the only income that we are expecting is his paycheck. So I'll go ahead and put his paycheck on here. I'm gonna go ahead and budget $750. And that's the amount that we're gonna go ahead and work with for this week. Moving down to our fixed expenses, we do have a couple bills this week. So we've got the Microsoft, which is my husband's Xbox. That's due on the 15th. Then we have the new car, which is through Honda Financial. Also due on the 15th. And then we've got the Cricut subscription and Apple Care. Now, if you watched, hold on, I've got to put those dates, 116 and 117. If you watched my previous video, you know that I pulled a couple bills up from this week because I knew that the car payment was going to be due. So for Microsoft, I'm going to go ahead and budget $16. The Honda Financial is $5.95. Cricut is $11. And Apple Care is $10. So when I add those four values together, that's going to leave us with $6.32. And when we take that away from our left, or our inflow, it's going to leave us with 118 left over. Now, moving down to our variable expenses, luckily we were able to fill those week one, so I don't have anything to go ahead and put in, in there, which means that our variable expense total is zero and that we can carry over those 118. We are still skipping the sinking funds. So moving over to extra debt. I'm gonna go ahead and not plan on putting anything towards extra debt. And then moving down to extra savings, I'm gonna go ahead and save for the 52 number two, which is in my husband's account. And then the rest is gonna go into our savings account. And the reason I'm doing that is because we're trying to get a month ahead on bills and all of the money that I make this month is gonna go into savings to go ahead and try to pay those bills at the beginning of February. I don't know how much that's gonna be, so I've been trying to save some money and the 52 week number two is 2650 because we put $26.50 towards that every week. When I take 2650 away from the leftover, that's gonna leave $91.50 that go into savings for that buffer. That is going to equal 118, which will leave us with that beautiful zero for the zero base budget. As always, my friends, I do like to check my math. So we've got an inflow total of 750 minus bills, which are 632. We skip, we skip, and then the 118 going into savings. And yes, my friends, we got to that zero base budget. I know that I am being really conservative this month. I'm doing that on purpose because we don't want to set ourselves up for failure. 
All we want is success. Thank you to each and every one of you who took time out of your day to say the happy birthday to me. I appreciate and love you all. And I will be back once this paycheck posts with the actual numbers. Take care, my friends, and I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye.